Turn now to our Sunday spotlight, shining on the new comedy Alpha House, Amazon's big bid to enter the TV world, written by Doonesbury's Gary Trudeau. It stars John Goodman and based very loosely on a real-life group home of senators. ABC's John Carl went behind the scenes. Take your time. I'll make some coffee for everyone. Imagine Bill Murray as a foul-mouthed U.S. Chamber. senator getting hauled off to jail. That's where Amazon's new comedy series, Alpha House, kicks off. When Murray, playing one of four senators who bunk together in a townhouse, forgets to go to prison. Bill Murray. <laughs> it was like having him on, uh, on set. He was there very, very briefly, but uh, he blazed like a comet. We want to play part of that scene, but you got to bleep out so much. Yeah, we're on the internet. We can do anything we want. <laughs> John Goodman plays the leader of the pack as North Carolina Republican Gil John Biggs, who we learn likes to nap in the shower. Jesus, Gil John, save some hot water for Adriana. You don't do a lot of uh, dude scenes, do you? Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> no, why subject the American people? They've already been through enough lately. Mark Consuelos is the new housemate, Florida Senator Andy Guzman. I've been backing him for years. Yes, and I've been fronting for her. My guy is pretty much talking to uh, anybody that wears a skirt, which is <laughs> a lot of fun to play. Because you get to, you know, that's you, you have free license. You wanna, you wanna throw down? Matt Malloy is Senator well, Lewis Laffer, uh, who decides the best way to look tough in a re-election race against a Tea Party challenger is to wrestle Stephen Colbert. How did you prep for that wrestling? Scene? <laughs> well, I was told it was to end in a uh, an awkward position. It was a little bit of an awkward position. People yeah. bend into some funny shapes to keep yeah. their job. And Clark Johnson Why plays Pennsylvania you Senator Betancourt. Why'd you decide to do this? I do Homeland a lot in there. Yeah. Threats against the president, it's all right. intense. And I come here and go, threats against the president. <laughs> Be Mark. It's a comedy, of course, but the show's creators went to great lengths to keep it looking authentic, building realistic Senate offices. They even brought a real senator to the set for a cameo. Senator Laffer, Senator Schumer. And Chuck Schumer is the real deal because the premise for Alpha House is his real life. You still don't have your own bedroom, and you are. That's true. One day it'll happen. During the work week, Schumer, the third most powerful Democrat in the Senate, lives with Dick Durbin, the second most powerful Democrat, and Congressman George Miller, all together in this D.C. row house. All right, so here it is. Yeah. We got the not so grand tour. These Beautiful. are Oscar de la Renta Venetian. <laughs> yeah, bar. that is our favorite food. Plenty of cold cereal. I'm sure the bread's bread is fresh. Yeah, no, you yeah. feel this. Yeah. I tried it the other night. It's like a rock. At least the location of his bed is convenient, right in the living room. So I'll see your bed's made. I'm kind of made. In all fairness, yeah. I did it for you. <laughs> <laughs> what would an actual reality show based in this house be like? We'd be sitting around here, usually in our shorts and t-shirts. Yeah. BSing. Maybe it's a good thing Alpha House isn't too realistic, but what would the cast think about flipping it around? Which one of you is going to run for office? <laughs> I got a record. Senator Goodwin. <laughs> Call it a firm no for now, but maybe the perks will change their mind. Cheers to the good life. For this week, Jonathan <laughs> Carl, ABC News, Washington. That is one big bowl of cereal. Our big thanks to Senator Schumer and the Alpha House gang. The show launches on Amazon on November 15th. And now we honor our fellow Americans who serve and sacrifice. This week, the Pentagon released the name of one soldier killed in Afghanistan. And that is all for us today. Thanks for sharing part of your Sunday with us. And on this Veterans Day weekend, we leave you with the World War II Memorial.